gonna move closer. <laughs> this is so intense! Oh my god! This looks crazy! I just... So I saw this photo on Instagram and I thought it was really cool. I guess what someone had done was taken their drone and attached uh, some extra lights to it and basically used that drone for long exposure photos. I've seen this concept done a couple times before but have never had the chance to try it for myself. So I thought it would be really fun to go and try to recreate this photo and do some long exposure drone photography. To achieve this, we're going to be using these. These are loom cubes. Um, if you don't know what they are, they're basically really high powered mini LED lights. They get extremely bright. They're very popular in the filmmaking community. Uh, but the idea would be to take these lights and basically just kind of attach them to the side of the drone using, using this tape. So I would take this tape like this, attach like this, maybe a little bit better than that. But the idea would then be that you have this flying spotlight that we can control and uh, take some photos with. <laughs> Okay, so I've just finished the drone. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I found this double-sided tape, which turned out to work really well, and I didn't have to use any of this packing tape, which I kind of feared would maybe get caught in the propellers and wouldn't really work that well. But as you can see, we just had to basically take one piece of tape there, throw it in between the cube and the drone. You can still access the SD card and everything. And we've got this pretty professional looking setup. The next thing I wanna do is give this thing a little bit of a test flight just because I wanna make sure that the blades will clear the loom cubes as well as it will lift off with all this extra weight. Oh. I think it works! Land, land! Yeah, so it works. It takes off perfectly fine. Um, I think the next step is to just kind of wait for it to get dark outside because it is currently about three o'clock in the afternoon. But in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you guys all about Squarespace. Squarespace is an extremely easy way to make a great website. It's an all-one platform with nothing to patch, install, or upgrade. Squarespace offers designer templates to make your website look amazing while also giving you the flexibility to make it your own. This way, you can ensure that your website will look great with whatever photos, videos, or other creative endeavor that you plan to use it for. No word of a lie, we've been using Squarespace for the last three years for our own TMS Productions website, and it's been fantastic. Squarespace makes it extremely easy for us to make professional looking portfolios that we can show to our clients. We can't recommend this enough. If you are ever in need of a website, make sure you go check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go check out squarespace.com slash TMS to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Anyways, we're gonna wait a couple more hours until the sun goes down, and we'll see you guys out in the field. Okay, we've arrived at our shooting location. We've got ourselves the drone here. We've got Steven on the light, and we've got Tommy behind the camera. Um, you guys can't see it because it's super dark, but we've got a nice big field behind us with grassy hills. It might be a bit of a hike to get to the top there, but I'm excited to see what this drone can do. After a nice little hike up, this is where we are going to take our photo. Last time I was here was during the disposable camera photo battle. I'm just gonna bang off a couple of just generic shots and then we're gonna break out the mirror. Oh, this looks great. And it was nice lush green grass and now it is kind of dead crispy brown grass. Um, but that's not gonna stop us. It should look just fine in the photo. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have someone go out there, kind of stand and be our subject. I am then gonna launch the drone. We're gonna fly it over, maybe do a couple circles, do a couple hovers. We don't really know what yet and see what kind of photos we can capture. Well, I'm gonna see how bright these things get. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That throws quite a bit of light. Especially for a long exposure. You don't oh, need yeah, that much. Have more than enough light. Flying around in a circle. <laughs> Just 
getting the tripod set up here. The camera that we are using is the Sony a7S III. Um, it's not the best photo camera in the world, but it has incredible low light. So especially for our long exposure needs, this thing is going to be perfect. We've also just noticed that there is fog rolling in just from our right over here. And uh, it's probably gonna make these photos look really, really cool. If there's any kind of golden rule out there, it's that fog makes everything look better. <laughs> I don't really know exactly what my settings are gonna be like, but I do know that I want a long, uh, long exposure. I want a long shutter speed. So I think I'm gonna start with maybe a 10 second shutter speed. 500 ISO with the lowest aperture I can get which is 2.8 and we'll just kind of start from there and kind of do some trial and error and see what we can get. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay so we've got the drone doing the circles automatically and uh, I think all I have to do is just hit the shutter button here. First photo, let's check it out. Um, what does it look like? Oh, okay, we're getting there. It's not bright enough. I gotta brighten it up, and I think I also need to brighten the lights on the drone itself. That's it, I think that's max brightness right there. We're gonna try that and see if that does anything better. What's going on, Mitch? So it turns out that one of the lights, I think, might have died. It's just not turning on anymore. I don't know why, but that's really annoying because I thought we charged these both. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move on with one light because there's nothing else we can really do. <laughs> Okay, round two, we've got the drone doing its loops over there. We've got Steven standing in the right spot and I'm just gonna hit the shutter and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so game strategy is we're gonna move closer because um, it's not looking quite how we want it to. So I think this might be good here. Okay, so we just got a little light panel set up right behind Steven. This'll cut him out from the background to give him a bit of an edge light. If you remember the long exposure photo battle, it's the same technique I used and it's super effective for these kind of situations. This is our third attempt. We have actually remounted the light so it's pointing straight down now so we can get the nice donut effect on the ground. Um, I'm just gonna hit the shutter here and we're gonna see how this looks. Oh, we're definitely getting closer. Yeah, I think I just gotta lower the drone and do it lower now. Why are you flashing? <laughs> why? What's going on? So the light is flashing. We have no idea why, but this might be an indicator that it is dying, which is not good. I tried taking a couple photos with the light flashing and it honestly actually looks a little bit cooler. So I think this might be actually a play. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've been kind of goofing around with the drone now, and I think we found something that's actually maybe a little bit cooler. Um, we just have the drone hovering right above Steven, casting this nice column of light, and it looks really cool. Oh my god, this looks insane. Holy cow. Oh, I love that. That is so good. <laughs> oh, whoa. Wow, that is that is good. <laughs> I know. We did good. I know. <laughs> that is so sick. I know. I don't know what to say. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's pretty much it for this drone. All the batteries have died and we are packing everything up. It is very cold out here, so I can't wait to get inside. But uh, I'm honestly a little disappointed with how long these loom cubes lasted. Like we were out here probably maybe an hour and that, and then they both died, which is kind of disappointing, especially because they both co they cost like 250 bucks. So not impressed about that. But if you want to try this for yourself, I highly recommend it. It is a ton of fun. You don't need the loom cubes. You can use the landing gear light on the bottom of the drone that's built in and that's plenty. Even for like the, the revolving and the one right above, that's plenty of light for whatever you want to do. So I highly recommend you get some friends together, go out and try this because it was a good time. Time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make. If you're new here, make sure you go follow us on Instagram at TMS Productions underscore. That's where we're going to be posting a bunch of these photos. Also, go down, like, subscribe. It really helps us out. And we'll see you guys in another video. <laughs>
Yes. Oh and wait. Let's just... Oh yeah, these these guys. These Move along. Keep boys. going. Thank you. All right. Mighty run you are. Okay. <laughs>